Can a hired NPC 1v1 a spire guard? Those pesky spire guardians, God, they're annoying, especially if you don't have good loot. So I had the question, what if I just take my YouTube money and pay someone else to fight them? Yes, sir. In season six, I can just hire an NPC. Maybe I can make them fight the spire guardian. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so I'm leading them to the guards and yep, they're actually gonna duke it out. Let's go. It's fair to say the spire guard ended up landing more shots, but the NPC was actually invincible to the damage. So, so yeah, after a long fight, our hired NPC came out victorious and honestly, none of us were expecting this to work. Yep, an NPC can indeed 1v1 a spire guard confirmed. Does the bow have unlimited range? When we all got our hands on the new bows this season, I think a lot of us had the same question. Just exactly how far can they go? A common myth is that the bows actually have unlimited range and you can fire arrows anywhere you want. So of course, I just had to test it. I mean, there have been some insane distance bow shots out there, but just exactly how far can it go? We started off with 200 meters and it hit. Then in testing, we did 350, 400, and even 450 meters, and the bow still hits those ranges. But when we got to 500 meters, the bow did reach the enemy and it literally hits the enemy and sticks inside of them without doing it. Any damage. Unfortunately, myth busted. Can you fly across the map with an exploding car? I mean, this one is a pretty interesting question. If it's true, it'd be a very helpful technique. We want to know if you could use an exploding car to fly yourself across the map, and naturally, we just went for it. Okay, so we got to destroy the car to the brink of like exploding it and then grab a nearby chicken. If you put the chicken in a box and then shoot the car, it kind of explodes and it goes flying into the air. So we had to be quick with this. We grabbed the chicken and ran under the car so it would land on us. And it actually sent us flying extremely far and it's probably one of the best rotations in the game right now, so it's kind of broken. So surprisingly, myth has actually been confirmed. Can a car or a boat take a Spire launch pad? The Spire launch pads have been some of the most useful ways to get around this season, but can you take a car or a boat up on the launch pad? Well, it's a pretty common myth, so we gave it our best shot. We built a huge ramp up to the Spire pad and then firstly drove a car up to the launch pad. Sure enough, it did launch our car right off of the Spire and we flew through the sky and then we did the same exact thing with the boat. It was a little hard to get up there, but we managed to push it to the ramp and boost our way to the top of the tower. And of course, the Spire launched our boat straight off the pad just like the car, so this myth is indeed confirmed. Can you use the reactors at Steamy Stacks while being a prop? Okay, this one's pretty funny. So the myth is whether or not you could use the chimneys at Steamy Stacks to glide as a prop. So I headed over to the Jekyll NPC at Steamy and bought a random prop disguise for 75 gold. Then I ran over as a barrel over to the chimneys and jumped in. Well, it turns out that you actually can fly around as a prop, but there's a big warning here, people. You can't glide as a prop, so you're just gonna plummet straight to the ground. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not as useful in the slightest, but it's kind of funny. And also I would say that it's somewhat confirmed. But can a tame pack of raptors win against the spire guard? With the raptors now being in the game, it's definitely spicing things up. So we know that hired NPCs can fight the spire guardians, but obviously what about raptors? This was super hard to test out because of just how broken taming is right now. So we had to use the hunter's cloak. We hopped in a battle lab and tamed a pack of raptors and lured them to a spire guard. Naturally, they began fighting each other. The spire guards put up a really tough fight and took out two of the raptors. However, the final raptor got the last laugh as it killed the spire guard. I gotta admit, a super close battle, but the raptors came out on top this time. Myth confirmed. Can you rocket ride the egg launcher? With Easter bringing the egg launcher to the game, we wanted to know if you could actually rocket ride it. But before we tested that, we wanted to see what would happen if we eliminated Webster, the NPC who sells the gun. It costs almost 500 gold, so we wanted to see if we could get a little discount. And well, it turns out that if you try to eliminate him, he actually drops the launcher for free. No reason to waste 500 gold now. But yes, then we tested the egg launcher with the myth and all it took was a few attempts and we realized that yes, you could actually rocket ride with the egg launcher and it works perfectly. Only if snipers weren't vaulted then maybe we could have seen some cool trick shots this season, but no epic. Okay, Tommy, it's okay. Myth confirmed. Let's get on to the next one. Do animals take fall damage? Now in the past, we've seen NPCs take fall damage, but also some of the bosses around the island in past seasons have survived huge drops. So you remember like Wolverine? So I wondered, do wild animals take fall damage? Obviously, I had to test it. We built up a giant ramp into the sky and led one of the wolves up to it. PETA, please don't be mad, but then we had to edit the floors out underneath the wolf and it fell all the way to its death. Except it didn't die. In fact, it was actually completely unharmed, so we tried it again with raptors. We led them up, edited the floor, and the same thing happened. No fall damage. And just to absolutely make sure, we tested this with a boar and a chicken, and neither of them took damage either. So, Peta, it's all good. Myth 100% busted. Do bushes hide you from spire guardians or raptors? Okay, so bushes are weird in Fortnite. 
In the past, they've helped hide from IO guards and more, and they're great for removing fall damage, but are they still helpful in season six against the island? We're gonna try it out. So if you shoot at a spire guard and then run into a bush, they actually lose complete track of you. They'll even run right up to the bush and stand next to you, but then just walk away. So then we decided to test it with raptors. We shot at a raptor and then hit a nearby bush and the result is very different. These guys don't care if you hide in the bush, they're still gonna bite you, so it's nice to know. So technically the spire guards myth is confirmed, but raptors, that is 100% busted. It's busted firm. Confirm, busted, confusted. Can you shockwave bow someone while they're gliding? The shockwave bow is another cool addition with season six, but it has the potential to do even more. So we wanted to find out if you could actually shockwave bow someone out of the sky while gliding. We shot at an enemy who launched off the spire pad and our arrow hit them directly. The shockwave actually completely canceled the redeploy and ruined the rotation. So if you have a shockwave bow, always take shots at people in the sky. Not only does it damage them, but they fall completely out of the sky to their doom. Myth 100% confirmed. Can animals take the spire pads? So animals can't take fall damage, but can they take the spire pads? Well, we led some wolves up the spire and onto the launch pad like we did with the cars, and this is what happened next. So yep, they launched straight up into the sky and dropped down to the ground, of course, not taking fall damage. So then we tried this with raptors, and they also shot directly upwards. It's kind of weird that they go up rather than forward, but hey, you could lure these guys on the pads now to escape them. Myth confirmed. Can you double pump in season six? So last season, players discovered that you could actually double pump with the exotic dub shotgun. Well, in season six, the NPCs have had huge changes and have been moved around, but we still managed to hunt down the guy who sells the dub. He's over at Steamy Stacks and is the burnout NPC. So you could buy the dub from him and Epic hasn't patched this yet. So yes, you could still double pump technically in season six. It is seriously overpowered and really fun. And with the pump being unvaulted, it's actually a double pump now. Can you rift as a prop? So sure, you could go into a chimney as a barrel, but can you rift as a prop? We bought the disguise from the NPC and then tried to activate the rift, but the game actually said you can't activate a rift while in prop form. We weren't backing down though and had a teammate buy the rift for us, and sure enough, we rifted straight into the sky as a mailbox. And unfortunately, as we learned earlier, you can't glide as a prop, so we just fell straight to the ground. You don't take fall damage, but it's like still pretty useless. Fun though, myth confirmed. Can a spire guard eliminate themselves? A spire guard can wipe out a lot of things, except raptors and hired NPCs we found out. But we wondered, can they eliminate themselves? Basically what I'm trying to say is we led the spire guard to the edge of the spire and built some floors off of the edge. Of course, spire guards blink around, so we were expecting her to fall straight off the build, but it just wouldn't happen. Every time they almost blinked off the edge, they would be stopped by like an invisible barrier. Although you can edit the floor beneath them or harpoon them for a free elimination with fall damage, but that isn't exactly them doing it to themselves. So myth busted. And our final myth, does Midas's Golden Touch still work on season six items? So for our final myth, we wanna know if Midas's Golden Touch ability still works on season six items. He has the ability to turn all the items in his inventory to gold, so has Epic made it work with the new season. Well, first we eliminated a Spire Guardian to try and get the Spire Orb to turn gold, and it just didn't work. Then we took the orb to get the Spire Jump Boots, and to our surprise, these actually did turn gold when we dropped them. We then quickly tested meat, animal bones, bouncy eggs, and the Hunter's Cloak, and unfortunately, None of these turn gold. The Spire Boots are really the only new addition that turns gold, so this myth is kinda busted, kinda confirmed. And that's every myth we're showing you. Make sure to click on screen right now to check out our next video. Of course, it's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.